So today I did my last seed starting of the season for all of my regular seeds starting. Now I do have a couple of succession plantings that I'll be doing later on, but today was my last regular seed starting and so I thought I would just do a video to share with you guys what I started in this last round. And then I also wanted to go over with you my whole seed sowing schedule for the season to share what I planted when. Now I am in Northwest Iowa, which is zone 5A, and our average last frost date is around the 1st of May. If you're not familiar with when your average last frost date is, you can Google it. Um, there's also a lot of different websites out there, um, your local agricultural websites, your state colleges that have ag programs. A lot of them will have a calculator that you put in your zip code and it tells you your average last frost date. So I Googled mine, it said May 2nd. So around the 1st of May is what I plan. Now, some of my plants will be able to go out a couple weeks before that date, so my hardy annuals, but most everything I will plant out in May. I think last year, the first day that I planted anything out into the garden, which would have been my Snapdragons and Lysianthus, was May 7th. But this year, I'm hoping to get a little better start so I have flowers earlier in the season. My ultimate goal for this year, um, besides increasing all of my bouquets and my sales, is to have flowers in June, because last year I didn't have any flowers until the July 4th farmer's market, and I missed out on those beginning season markets. So that is the goal, and I'll make, to keep, make sure to keep you guys updated on that. Um, but anyway, my last seed sowing of the season is done, and so here is what I started. So the main thing in this batch of seed sowing that I did were my zinnias. Now typically every year I have just direct sowed all of my zinnias out into the garden. This year I wanted to get a little head start on them and so I'm starting all of them inside. And the main zinnias that I'm planting in my garden this year are the Benary's Giant Series. I'm pretty sure I planted every color available in the Benary's Giant Series. I even started some seeds of the Benary's Giant Mix. I will have plenty of variety of the Benary's Giant. Now the other Xenia seeds that I started um, are some that I found from Select Seeds, and I'll put some pictures up on the screen, but these are a cactus style Xenia. I planted one variety of these last year, and I love the texture that they added in my bouquets. So this year I'm doing four colors. I'm doing the Lilac Empress, Senorita, which was the one I planted last year. I'm doing Sun God and Inca, and they are all beautiful, vibrant colors that I think will also flow into fall really well. Now I'm also starting, um, besides my cut flower zinnias, I'm also starting one called Jazzy Red, which are about six to 12 inches tall, and these are gonna go on my landscaping at home. And so in addition, I also started these. Now the other seeds that I started this week which I have everything in my garden journal. So this is kind of what I work off of from year to year to see my seed sowing schedule. So the other things that I started this week beside the zinnias were my straw flowers. Um, straw flowers I'm mainly using for dried flower projects this year, but I did start three colors of those. I started some calendula, which will be going in my vegetable garden. Um, those are good pollinators. They're also good aphid attractors, so I can keep the aphids away from um, plants like my broccoli. They'll go right to the calendula. Um, I started another variety of amaranth called Green Thumb. This is more of a uh, shorter plant of amaranth, but it should work good into smaller bouquets. I started some bunny tail grass, which will also be geared towards my dried flower projects. And then I started the Black Eyed Susie Vine. Now I started four colors of this, and these are mainly for trellising around my garden, um, just for looks. I may also use them on some trellises at home, but I like to start a few of these every year. Um, and so those are what I started this week also. Now, as far as my seed sowing schedule for the year, um, I keep everything written down in my garden journal and I kind of keep the same schedule from year to year. I do adjust things such as 
This year I wanted to be able to put my Snapdragons outside a little bit sooner than last year and so I started those two weeks earlier with the anticipation that I could plant them out two weeks earlier this year compared to last year. Now these are the dates that worked for me according to my average last frost date to start everything. So if you're kind of penciling these out, make sure that you're taking into consideration what zone that you live in. And how I figure out when I'm starting my seeds is just simply by reading the information on the back of the seed packet. So a lot of them will say six to eight weeks, eight to 10 weeks. So you wanna be able to fit your seeds somewhere in um, that range and that is when they will best be suited to be started in the seed trays without getting too big um, that it's going to actually harm the plant. So you don't want to start things too early because that can actually be bad. So um, pretty much just go by what is on the seed packets. Um, but again, I am in zone 5A. My average last frost date is around the 1st of May. So the very first thing that I started this year was way back on January 5th, and that was my Lysianthus. Lysianthus, of course, are super slow growing, and so you have to start it so far ahead of time. Um, they're doing great, and I anticipate planting them out in the garden around that 1st of May, maybe even a little sooner, right with my Snapdragons. Okay, so then a month later on February 11th, I started my stock and my phlox. Then a few days after that, on February 16th, is when I started all of my Snapdragon seeds. One week after that, on February 23rd, I started my first tray of Rhinoculus, and actually I'm planting my Rhinoculus outside tomorrow. Let me grab that tray for you really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the tray of Rhinoculus that I started on February 23rd. I actually think that they could be a little bigger in growth by now. This was my first year starting Rhinoculus, and um, I think to begin with, I did not keep them as wet as I should have, and it stunted their root growth just a little bit at the beginning, but clearly they're doing just fine. So I'll be doing a video tomorrow when I plant these outside, but my plan is to plant them in some raised beds and I am going to be covering them with a frost cloth. But our 10 day forecast from here on out is temperatures in the 50s during the day and the mid 30s during the night. So that should be perfect. Okay, so the next grouping of seeds that I started was on March 1st, and that was my Feverfew, my Ageratum, Yarrow, Asters, and my Mahogany Splendor Hibiscus. Then one week later on March 9th, I started my Dianthus, and then the next day on March 10th, I started um, a group of petunias, which I'm hoping to plant in my window boxes and planters out front of my business here. I started my Bupleurum, which I'm finding out I did not start correctly, so I actually need to redo that. And then I started all of my Gomphrina on March 10th as well. Then one week after that, I started three different kinds of basil. That was on March 18th. And then on March 25th, I started amaranth, marigolds, Gomphrina, celosia, status, and rubecchia. So that was a big group of seeds that I started. A couple days after that, my husband and I started all of our peppers and tomatoes. And out of all of those that we started the very end of March, um, which was just a week ago, they are, all are sprouting so far, so they're looking great. Um, I also started all of my herbs. We did things like celery, cabbage, kale, and lettuce. And then we get to March 30th, which is today. And that was that group that I just started. All my zinnias, my black eyed Susie vine, um, bunny tail grasses, straw flower calendula, and then that one shorter amaranth. So that is everything that I am growing in my garden this year. And that was my seed sowing schedule. I will also link down below the last video that I posted, which was a whole tour of all of my seedlings that I have growing. So you can see in comparison when these were started and how they are looking right now. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful just seeing what I planted when. Again, um, as you're watching along, feel free to pencil these dates out, but just remember that I am zone 5A. My average last frost date is around May 1st, and so if you are in a different zone than I am, just make sure to taper that to your zone. 
And the next thing I'll be doing tomorrow will be planning out my ranoculus. So I will make sure to do a video on that as well. So watch for that soon. We'll see you in the next video. And by the way, check out the garden today. We got snow last night, but tomorrow it's gonna be 55. Welcome to spring in Iowa.